I'm Bronco, and this is the Card of the Day calendar for Saturday, July 9th. Today is National Dimples Day. I got nothing to add to that. Other than all the scores and highlights from Friday's action, Major League Baseball can be added to the right side of your screen. Now let's get on to history. And yesterday I featured two games that did not go well in the Angels' favor on this day in history, but Nolan Ryan will turn that around for us. He had a day against the Boston Red Sox in 1972, striking out 16 in Anaheim Stadium while allowing just one hit in a 3-0 victory. He struck out a league record eight straight batters at one point and tossed an immaculate inning in the second frame. Carl Yastrzemski hits a one-out single in the opening inning, then Nolan Ryan set down 26 straight batters to improve to 11-5 on the season. Also on this day, the 10,000th home run in the history of the Giants franchise was hit. Go ahead, take a guess who hit the round tripper. I'll wait. Okay, maybe a hint would help. It happened on this day in 1988, as the San Francisco Giants clobbered St. Louis 21-2. If you guessed Chris Spire, you are wrong. Although he did go 5 for 6 in the game and hit for the cycle. Will Clark, Kevin Mitchell, those would also be good guesses, but incorrect. The player we are looking for is Ernest Riles. The shortstop took Steve Peters deep in the seventh inning for the milestone homer. Birthdays on this day. George Stone turned 76. The left-hander pitched for Atlanta and the New York Mets in a nine-year career, posting 60 wins, 57 losses, and five saves in 203 games. He had an ERA of 3.89. Willie Wilson turned 67 today. The two-time All-Star spent most of his 19-year career with the Kansas City Royals. He was a triples machine, hitting 147 three-baggers, and led the American League five times in that category. Oddly enough, he hit just 47 homers in the major leagues, and he stole 668 bases in his career, including a league-leading 83 in 1979. And Miguel Montero turns 39 today. Montero was a World Series champion with the 2016 Cubs, but his best play probably came in the 2011 and 2012 seasons for Arizona when he batted a combined 284 with 33 homers, 174 RBIs, and he smacked 61 doubles. July is 2011 Tops Month. Today we're going with Evan Longoria. The Tampa Bay Double Rays star third baseman was in his prime in 2011, coming off three straight All-Star seasons. In 2011, he dipped to a 244 average, but still managed an 850 OPS with 31 homers, 99 RBIs, and he added 26 doubles for good measure. In all, he made three all-star appearances and won three gold gloves. Well, I'm off to a card show. We'll see you tomorrow here on the Card of the Day calendar. Bronco and Sports, out.